welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome super C to start the 2022 model year. And this one happens to be one of the most least expensive. This is a 2022 Nexus Triumph Model 32 TSC. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Triumph and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's World's Only Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a 2022 motorhome. This one being one of the smallest and one of the cheapest. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey everybody! Hey Andrea, how's it going? I'm good, we're in Tampa, you guys. I apologize about the highway traffic. But it's hot and but we need to be hot, under a tree. And we wanted to be under the tree, so yes. I hope you guys understand. And we're looking at the 2022 Nexus. Yes. Aren't you guys excited? Burr, 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 burr. Oh, here we go. Here we go now, Andrea, let's begin. Model is 32 TSC. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 32 feet 5 inches. This is an awesome motorhome. It's powered on the International CV chassis. Give me a second. Ready? Not CV, MV. I can't take a look at this. Oh, you know I want to look at it. Hell yeah, brother. Listen to that. Yeah, that is a Cummins ISB 6.7 liter on the international chassis. It's 300 horsepower and 660 foot pounds of torque. Woo! Hell yeah, America. Very nice. And then close it. All you do is gotta go like that and then lock it into place just like that. All right, Matt, let's go truck it. Yeah, let's go <laughs> truck it. As you can see here, we do have cameras integrated to the left side and right side. Also in reverse. Coming on down the side here. Look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals. Oh. I love those. 255-70R22.5. And you have those AccuRide rims. What's really nice about this motorhome is just the chassis. It's big, sexy, without costing you 200, 300,000 plus. We do have these overstyled mirrors right there. And then right up there, I totally forgot to mention, it's the fiberglass front raw. This is a cap that caps over, and it looks really nice. Now this motorhome got the full body paint option, which if you can see it right here, it looks fantastic. It does. Also right here is where your fuel fill up is. Cool, coming on down the side here. We do have your battery components right there, your batteries. Nice slam latch doors. It's gonna be your propane tanks. Okay, and Andrea, bing! That's all the propane tank sizes, lengths, width, specs, everything about this motorhome. Also, we do have a nice big power awning with LED lights. We're not gonna put that out because of the tree right there. And you do have frameless windows. What I really, really love about Nexus is two things. They use steel framing. It's 72% stronger than aluminum, which in my opinion means 72% safer. And they use Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green based material, and that will never delaminate on you. Coming on down the side here, here's your water heater. Electrical outlet. Yes. Great job with the paint job. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm really upset though with this water heater not being painted. I know, but pass through storage. Yep, yep. Coming on down the side here. What's that? What could it be? TV? Could it be a TV? Oh, yeah, hey. TV on the outside. I don't think they were doing that. I don't think so either. Good move, Nexus. Good move. And you know, it's a cheap crap TV, and it's okay. Just give us a TV on the outside. They didn't even need to give us a TV. They just needed to give us the bracket, you know? Very nice feature. Andrea. I wore the wrong pants today. George, I told you you had plenty of shorts. Well, no, so here's the thing, guys. 
We can't wear shorts at the Tampa store. That's why <gasps> we'll be going to the Ocala store what? a lot. But also I've learned something. There's different types of material and I picked the wrong material Aww. today. Cause they have this uh, this pants that's so light and airy. That's such a strange rule, huh? Yeah. We live in Florida, it's so hot. Right. Nice pass through, bumper for your stinky slinky. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. 10,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. Right up there you have a backup camera and we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Matt, I hope he's stretched. Here we go now. All right, hold on, cause it is hot. There we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there's your shower dome. And then right there's your wine guard digital antenna. Okay, Matt, take your time. Here we go now. Oh my goodness, hold on. Slow. All right. Last step now. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof on a 100 degree day. Nobody. Nobody is getting hot out here. <laughs> All right, we got some more storage. Yep. Okay, I see we got our inverter in there. Oh, okay. Yep. Very There's little. your wet bay. It's where you dump your black and gray tank and everything. Okay. Okay. More What's that? storage, the other side of the pass through. Okay. Got our generator. Yep, Onan 6000 diesel generator. More storage. And that's where you fill up your DEF. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. to the bathroom right here, which is plenty of space to get through. And then the bed is on a slide, but you can use it while it's in. Andrea, did you just point to something that I didn't even realize wasn't in here? Yes. What's that? There's no TV. I mean, no, no refrigerator. Yep, yep. They must have uh, taken it out. But guess what, Andrea? We will continue on. <laughs> you know why? Because it's hot. Everybody knows what a fridge looks like and we're not restarting the video. <laughs> okay. So here's the deal. We have a program called Keep You Camping. Okay. This is going to be a good plug. We have a program called Keep You Camping. So if there's a fridge broken, that's going to take next is probably a week to get to us. Maybe two, right? Instead of making that customer wait, We'll put the fridge in this one, give it to them so yes. we can keep them camping. Right. And then we'll wait a week or two. Right. And when it comes in, we'll just pop it back in. Cool, Andrea, let's get started up here. Oh, I love sitting up here. Hell yeah. Listen to that roar. We got the nice scream right there, Allison transmission. It is hot, it is hot. We are rocking and rolling. Right, we got the window over yep. here, power. Nice window, international, good dash area, right over there. And then Andre, you wanna sit in my co-captain seat? Of course, I was looking for the cargo carrying capacity. It's probably on that door right there. Oh, let me check. Is it on the door though? I didn't see it on the door. It's not on the door. All right. It's definitely not on the door. It's okay. 
Okay, what's real nice about this cab, feels like you're just driving a truck. It doesn't even feel like you're driving a motorhome. It's very comfortable and nice. How does the seat feel? I love it, guys. Yes, yes. Fantastic. When you're trucking down Truck the road. Let's yep. go trucking. How about that horn, Matt? Oh, uh, there's no air horn. Oh. We do have cameras to the sides right there and everything. Very nice. Come on up. Okay. We do have a little place for sunglasses or whatever. Over the cab. This one does not have the bunk over the cab. This one has the entertainment center over the cab. So check this out. We do have, oh, that has to be in some. Okay, that clicks in. Oh. Wow, very nice storage right look there. Look at that. Would you look at that? That is huge and nice. Then we do have storage on this side and on this side, double nice, huh? Very nice. Now, because of that, it doesn't make a bed. Every, a lot of people want the bed, but I believe that's an option. You can get it with the bed or with the entertainment center. And then right over here, we do have a nice seat that you can move around the RV. It's very lightweight. You can bring this outside of the RV and it's pretty nice. And then across. Above you. What's that? Oh, Got tons storage. of storage. Yes. And then these windows here, we do have the privacy shades right there. And then a little bit more storage right up there. Very nice. Yep. And then across is your theater, not theater seats, is your sleeper sofa. So right over here, we do have three cabinet doors, all held up by struts. We love that. Very nice windows. Andre, how do you like the balances? Um, I, I don't know how I feel. Okay. Uh, I do know that I like the sofa. Yes. I, I like the way... I like the design of the sofa. Yes, it's brown, it's simple, but, and it comes out to make the bed. We love, So it's love, a full love. pull out. Yeah, let me show everybody. So instead of a jackknife, that's great. Yeah, so, no, we hate the jackknives. Which is nice because, you know, without having that bunk over the cab, if you did have guests, yes. at least you got, oh, it's a trifold, it looks like. Yes. Okay. And then the cushions go right in there. In the middle, yep. Yep. Very, very, very nice. easy. Easy to do. And then there you even have seat belts right there as well. Good job, Matt. Yeah, thank you. I, I at least like how they've done the arms on the sofa. You uh -huh. know, sometimes the arms are like uh, more squarish and they're not real comfortable. Okay. But it looks like these arms are comfortable. Yes. You know, they're yeah. cushioned no, really no good. Doubt, no doubt. And what else is comfortable is this dinette. Okay. So first, again, three more big storages above the dinette. How do you like that light fixture? It's very Art Deco. Um, no. <laughs> no? Not Art Deco. You know what it looks like? What? Oh my gosh. Are you hot, Matt? Oh, geez. I'm all dirty and everything. It looks like a 1985 Pizza Hut light. Like mm, the lights from Pizza Hut. Maybe. I like to just show this, the features. Yep, yep, the Asdale, the steel, the roof, the owners. Right here you have your cups. The table's cute. This is where the cups go, you drop them in, you know, the drinks. And this dinette does make into a bed. So Drops down and makes a bed, yep. So you do have extra sleeping. And, and do we have storage, storage under there? I wonder, they they do on some of theirs. No, or, not on this not one. Not on that one. Nope. It is no big deal. Hey, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Good job, Andrea. Thank you. MSRP on this motorhome here is not bad at all. $226,996, Andrea. That is MSRP. Sale price, do you see a sale price there? I do not. No, because for the next few months, if you guys haven't heard, we're not gonna be advertising sale prices because the RV industry is fluctuating so much that this RV today won't be the same one as a month from now or three months from now. But Andrea, here's what I do know. The sale price will have a, one, a number one in the first number on it. And if somebody wants to buy one of these, we sell so many Nexuses, we can get everybody the best price in America. Andrea, 
Tell everybody how to get the best price in America. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this motorhome, not a problem, click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, there's one thing that they will always get. The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Also, if you go to the store, print out your Matt Cash coupon and bring it in with you, because you don't need to go through my team, Everybody at General RV is my team. You just need to make sure you fill out the mat cash form. Yay! That's oh. fantastic. Yes. All right. So let's start here in the kitchen. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention. Uh, auto leveling. Yay. Okay. So here we have cabinets. It looks like we have adjustable shelves, you guys. Okay. Here's, okay. Here's a privacy curtain that goes around front. Yes, ma'am. Um, it, it did give you blinds, new blinds for the window. Okay. Did you just jack those blinds? No, they're just, yeah, they, they're a magnet. Oh, okay. So, anyways, look at this. Oh, that's a lily pad of power. Hey, somewhere to, you can at least have your coffee pot over here. I do like this countertop. It's Beautiful. very pretty. Yes. Okay, let's see if I can get this up. All right, nice sink. Look at that, residential style sink mm -hmm. with an extension. Pretty countertop, I really like this. Nice solid surface okay okay so we have here great space for a trash can oh yeah we got two drawers one and two and then we got a microwave here very nice is that a convection oven no a microwave Eesh. i am sure <laughs> oh my god if it was a convection it'd be like all metal oh my god three burner cooktop with the glass cover yes and another cabinet down here, which is great for pots and pans. Yes. Uh, here would be where the refrigerator goes. And you guys, I think they do put a residential. I'm not sure. Absolutely, yeah. I think it is. Yeah, no, it's the residential and it, and it works great. And we have the pantry here, which has adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. Good size pantry. For sure. And? And then over here, we do have a middle bathroom situation. Okay, Andre wants to come in here. Oh, I'm going in the shower, or are you? Oh, no, I can go in. Interesting. Okay, so Look. I like what they did here. Yeah, it has the... It, it, it's a bigger door open. Yes, mm -hmm. close that up. It's still a radius. Yeah, but you know what? Oh, it's the Nautilus style radius yes. door. Yes. That's what it is. I, I... Look at the height. Oh, and then it clips in. Okay, Um, I do really like that feature. I still hate radius showers. I'm not a fan of them, but plenty of height. Really, it is. here's what I will say. This is the best radius shower I've ever been in. Oh, there, where's the shower head? Let me see. Yep, it goes right up here. Oh, okay. Yep, clips in. And then over here. We got a magnet up there to hold the door. It's not privacy. a magnet, it's a clip. A clip. Okay, over here in the sink, in the bathroom, we have medicine cabinets, good for all our medicines. Nice little sink area. All right, a little bit of storage underneath there. And then a toilet. It is porcelain. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're on a pedestal there. Yep. It's funny, it's like everything I don't like is kind of happening in here. <laughs> uh, you know, I it's not a prime pooping position. Um, it just is what it is. Okay. It's an well, amazing price point class I mean, C. I, I'm happy they gave you a, a door on here yep, at least. Yep, for a little bit of privacy. Um, okay, so here we go. Matt, you can go in first. This is definitely a queen bed. Yep, queen size bed. I love that headboard. Uh, it's too busy for me. Oh no, I like it. I think it looks good. This is why I decorate nice. my house, guys. <laughs> yep. Nice window in the back. And you got two storage oh, units up here. On. And you got a nice storage cabinet up here. And there's another one on that side. Yep, Matt. let me get to it. You really don't like that? No. You know what? You know what pattern do, that is? I do like that it has the windows for yeah. cross ventilation. That's just that pattern is the same backsplash as the Coachman Encore. Remember the octagons that kind of look like that? They're yeah, kind of like, grayish blue. They're like 
and are they like honeycombs? They would yeah, call honeycombs. Them. But I, I it's I, like a GMC Denali. Me personally, I just think it's too busy okay. for a headboard. I do like that you have little nightstands here on each side. Um, over here is your light switches and your thermostat. I and just, then over here. Okay, so there is an electrical outlet on the bed there. I was looking and a remote switch. Interesting fuse box. And then right over here, we do have storage. We have our wardrobe. Very nice. We nice drawer right there. Six drawers. Wow. So that means five for Andre and one for me. Yes. Got a drawer right there. Oh no, Andre can have all six drawers. I can use this. That's nice. Yeah. I think behind the TV is a cabinetry or storage. Yep. Yep. Very nice. And then also here's what's cool there's the cigarette lighter as well so if you want to change the power on the tv you can uh make it work off the battery power which is a nice feature and we got the other side of the wardrobe i do like do the lights automatically come on that's pretty yes cool. yes that is very neat and then two more storages there and then is there storage underneath the bed let's see i don't think so nope nope well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Really? I was going to do that last, but I guess if we're doing it first, I'm going to start. I'm going to start right here. Uh, I do not like radius showers ever. Again, with that said, this is the best radius shower I've seen. And I do not like the toilet, how it's elevated, because my feet are swinging. But again, for the price point of this motorhome, uh, you can get um, a squatty potty that would help with that, and then you would be A-OK. -okay. So that is number one. Number two? Okay. Um, I don't like the, uh, the darkness in here. Um, the interior, it's too dark for me. Okay. I feel like the brown wood and the brown yeah, furniture. It's, it's good for someone, but yep. for me, I'm not a fan of the dark colors. You know, I would almost say a lot of it might have to do with the LED lights as well. Right. They're kind of appearing yellow and not like a yeah, bright I white. If it was a different lighting, it might be better. Yep. Okay, so that's number two. And then number three, Andre, we're going outside. We've said it before and we'll say it again. We do not like how the doors swing up because now I need to go underneath and access it that way. I much, much, much prefer a side door. And you know what? I'm gonna give it a bonus dislike because I think this paint job is beautiful. It is. You gotta paint the water heater. Yes. You know, I don't think that looks good. Now, hang on a second. That water heater door is painted. So maybe they missed this or maybe it flew off and they had to put a replacement. I don't know. But again, paint. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Oh, Andre, are you going first? Yes, I'll go first. Okay. What I do like, you guys, is I like the style of this sofa. Yes, it's um, comfy. I don't see a lot of this style in the RVs that we review. Yeah. So I actually like it. It is very comfortable. It is. And even the arms are comfortable. They are. So that's that's a big deal for me to have a comfortable sofa. Yes. So I like that. So that's number one. Number two, Andre. Number two and three, we're going outside. So hang on. Okay. Let me get this engine off. Okay, come on, I'll go on outside. So number two for me, Andrea, is going to be the length of this motorhome. And I'm gonna combo it with the price point, right? So a lot of people, they're gonna be comparing this to a Nexus Ghost or an Integra Accolade or a Jayco Seneca. And you have to understand that this is a fraction of that price point. All three of those motorhomes are better than this motorhome. The question is though, do you want to spend, you know, $250,000 sale price, not MSRP, but sale price, um, just to go camping? Or do you want to supersede and save a ton of money? That's what this unit is. It's their value leader. And it's just a great value for the dollar. I agree. So that's two. 
And then number three, Andrea. Of course. We gotta say this chassis. It's big, it's bad. It's gonna give you everything that a Super C has with, again, just without that price tag. It's awesome, it's international, and international has a three hour guarantee on any engine issues. You just go to any Loves or Pilots or Flying J's and they take care of you right away. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell, or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few minutes, you're gonna see what this uh, motorhome competes with right there and there. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes! Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Uh -huh. Nexus does read the comments. They are very big on their customer service issues and feedback. So make sure you guys leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.